we want the triple jump. Yep, it was jumping off the top of the screen. Wow, he's got some crazy horizontal distance now. Look at that. We can spend most of the time in the air. I like when you get a good sense of um, progress from the upgrades like that. Oh god. Okay. Kill you. No bunnies! Why bunnies? What did I ever do to you? I'm killing all of the wolves and foxes for you. You should be freaking thanking me. Seriously. See? Dead. No! Freaking bunnies, man. I don't care what you do for them. Little entitled bastards. I made you who you are, bunny. Take that bear. Take out my aggression with the bunnies on the bears instead. Nothing could possibly go wrong with that plan. Sure, I'm glad my nightmare decided to give me a sword for all this. Yeah, screw that jump. Also, I like that you multiple jump in- oh god. Instead of you having a super high jump, because it's a lot easier to manage your height when you don't want to go too high because it's stupid skulls. And also, while I like the- oh god. While I like the retro effect in theory, I think it's bugging my eyes less with that effect turned off. Oh, we're getting to part of the music we never got before. Oh god, no. Yeah. I like this part, too. No! Okay. What? I had more jumps! I got jipped out of a frickin' jump. But my health is staying fairly high. Thanks to my awesome regen. No! I took two hits at once. You get like zero invincibility frames. That's kind of excessive. All of the money! All of it! No! Sometimes I don't- Ah! Sometimes I don't seem to get all three jumps. Like, I don't know if I... Like, do a triple jump accidentally when I think I'm doing the first jump, but... Throwing me off. No. Screw you, fox. Wolf. Whatever you are. Stupid dog, whatever's. You're all just dogs with longer hair. Oh man, that was mean. Getting intent. Eh, the bunny kills me. Of course, the bunny killed me. What else would kill me? Nothing's dangerous in this forest except for the frickin' bunnies. Yeah, my eye- it's- It's still scrolling with, in my eyes. That is a very disorienting effect. Better sword. I really don't- well, I guess it'd be kinda useful, actually. I guess I may as well hoard. That way I'll get that metal. As I need a hundred fifty. Wait, I guess I could have fully upgraded one of those two. Whatever. Wait, maybe I can upgrade both once I get this. See, I think I do need a hundred fifty max out either one of those. See, 
I guess I'll get... I'll wait till I get that medal. And then I'll quit, and then I should have the important upgrades. Maybe... I may be missing one more thing, aside from the fox ears. I'm gonna get those last. I do like that the fox are like jamming to the groove there. Mushroom Cloud! I'm just kind of having a disco in the forest here, and see the girls running through and slashing them to pieces. Because you shouldn't have screwed with Little Red Riding Hood, should you? The bouncing graves are sort of weird. It's good that they do that, because it makes you realize, oh hey, those are things that are real, like, that'll hurt you. Because the stuff that isn't moving is more clearly in the background, so I like that. So you can easily tell animated stuff can hurt you, inanimate stuff can't. And I love when it's very clear what's what collides with you and what doesn't. Like, with many adventure games, it's just very clear... That was a dumb idea. It's very clear what you can pick up, just because collectible items are like brighter or not part of painted on background. It's just very obvious. Like aside from being like clearer and brighter, it's hard to like even describe what makes them stand out so much. They just do in almost every game. And when they don't stand out is where those games can get incredibly frustrating. I forget what game, but Kikoski, uh, another Let's Player, was talking about some adventure game where there's this coin you have to pick up that's like literally one pixel that you have to click on exactly. That sounds annoying as all hell. It's a pretty good run considering I was just planning to go until I get the money that I wanted. Will this be to earn? That's probably won't. So I've been watching speedruns and I picked up some of the lingo unfortunately. Freaking Twitch. With her bare hands. Excellent. Not particularly sure why I like speedruns. I think why I like speedruns is just not actually to see people play games fast or anything, or even necessarily the skill of it. Just I love seeing games broken. That's why I love the cutting room floor wiki. Um, I really love that site. It's made um, well, basically what it is is just a collection of cut and hidden content and games. Ah, oh, damn it! That's still in the game's code. Or, you know, regional differences and stuff, and it's just really cool to see all the stuff that you don't see in the actual game. Like, is that... is anyone else getting the mind melty, um, what do you call that? Optical illusion? Because it's really bugging my brain. I hope I'm just not just going crazy. I don't think I'm going crazy. You know what, screw it, let's get fox ears. And then wait. Can I? No. No, no, I can't. Fox ears! Whoa! That was better than I expected. But there's still a tiny bit you can miss even on the foxes. But yeah, the wolves are like almost the full bar now. But yeah, I just really like seeing games get broken. Like, the same guy that runs the Cutting fl Room Floor Wiki has this automatic program that... It lets the, uh, demo... The demo of Super... Damn it, I wasn't paying attention. Super Mario Brothers 1. It lets the demo play, and it corrupts a random byte, and just randomly... Um, corrupts a random byte of RAM, and just fills it with random data. And it just has a set chance of corruption every so many frames and it's just fun to see all of the shit that happens like Mario will start swimming or graphics will change to random shit or like 
one of the funny ones that was fairly common was enemies would change into the back half of Bowser, like just walking around, and they'd still be the normal enemies, but just Bowser butts. Or, uh, what else was... Oh, what other fun ones were there? And there was some that would, like, that would be the standard, you know, graphics totally glitched out into, like, random tiles. Or... The fun ones were where... Um, so the demo of Super Mario Bros. 1 is completely sound-free. But for some reason, some of the glitches would int introduce sound. So it would just suddenly start making sounds. Which, that was always really cool. And he even had an automated, whoa, crash detection system. It wasn't perfect. It basically just checked for this one value that iterates every frame. And if it doesn't iterate for so many frames, it just assumes it's dead. Oh god. Thank you for not killing me, bunny. I like you. You're one of the good ones. So what upgrade am I missing? I think I'm missing a full heart, aren't I? No! Freaking bear! Damn it, I over jumped. Like, I hit jump too many times too quickly. Wait, did I upgrade the sword thing? It doesn't actually seem that much better. Not against the bear, anyway. Also, I like that the sword blinks when you're ready to do the sword attack. It makes it more apparent that you're prepared. Alright, I guess there's a bit of random variability in the sword. I'm still not sure which upgrade I didn't get, because I went for the fox ears over one of the upgrades. See, because sometimes when it's right on the edge there, I can't actually tell whether I was in the middle or not. But it's very nice to have that visual cue of the flashing sword. Stupid bears. No bunny! No. Oh, the music looped. It's gotta be getting close. Damn it! I. I took three hits there, seriously. At least I'm gaining health back pretty quickly. Damn it! Okay. I was afraid that, like, reset my attack. Because it seemed like... No, bunnies! Not this time, bear. Holy crap. I don't think that was possible if you didn't have the triple jump. I guess I'll put on the retro effect now that I know that the eye bleeding thing isn't due to the retro. Oh man, my head's gonna be spinning for hours after I play this. Is, does anyone else see that after playing this game, or am I just like having a mental breakdown over here? Oh, I did not get the better sword aim. All of the things. All of them. Let's go. Wait. Controls. I wonder what happens when if dude just walk past the foxes or what? How many, I wonder how many more meters I have to go. I really do want to see the end, but I don't want to ha like sit here with nothing to say until I do it. I guess I can squeeze a good two, three videos out of this one, depending on how much longer it goes. But don't necessarily want to do that, because if I finish it within... Like, if this or the next one are the run, I can make two videos. I try to keep my videos in 15 to 30, or 15 to 20, really. Though I'll go as high as 25 if I'm under, like, say, 55 minutes. But I don't really like going higher than 25, actually. Because then I'm, like, as long as... Actually, that's longer than most production TV shows, and that's a lot of that's a lot to take in in one sitting. Because most TV shows, they're you know, they're maybe 15 to 20 minutes of actual content, and then five to 10 of ads, or more like 
10 to 15 these days of ads to fill in a quote unquote half hour. Damn it. But even though I usually shoot for about 15 minutes, I'm very glad that I don't have the 15 minute restriction anymore. The 10 minute restriction was just freaking murder. That would be s that was so annoying, especially when I didn't know how to split videos right. Like when I just started, I had to make sure that I stopped the video before 10, or else I was just screwed. Oh man, I've come a long time, or come a long way in the. Uh, I've been doing this at least three years, probably more like. The join date on my current channel is not actually when I joined YouTube. Uh, very few of you know this, but I used to be under the name Tap Tap the Magnificent, I think, when I very first started doing this crap. But that na name was so long, and I had like, I think I had like 30 subscribers when I made the change. Though every subscriber was precious back then, so I made sure to make a video and say I was moving. I think the ten of them that were real people actually did move over. I might have lost a couple of real people. Those were the days, getting all the spam for, Hey, I saw your video, but you don't have any views. You should go to the spam site and they'll give you more views. I still get those on rare occasions. Now I've been getting more spam partnership offers, which apparently those are kind of legit, at least some of them. Damn it. It's pretty fair. But still, I don't want... I went over this in another video, I think. Did I? Yeah, I don't want to be a partner unless... Really, all I want is the canonical playlist feature. I had that for a brief bit of time before they took that. Like, everyone used to have that, but they took it away, and it's now partner only. And that's just about the only partner only feature I want. I want streaming too, but that's only for streaming partners, so that's even more restricted. I don't know what you have to do. I think you have to be like real world events shit to be streaming on YouTube. Which is why I unfortunately have to go to Twitch for that. Or at least I will if I actually do much streaming. I don't I'm still undecided about that. See, I've gone to talking 100% about me and not the game unfortunately. Grass is greener. Oh god. Am I close to the end? Got one of the ending achievements, one of the medium difficulty ones. I assume they are close to the end. Okay. Damn it. Yeah, zero invincibility frames is pretty friggin' mean, I gotta say. Damn it! Well, when does it end? Ah, uh, I don't know. I'll return to it if, if I feel like it. I'm gonna wait for my head to stop spinning. Okay, never mind! Apparently, what you do to beat the nightmare is... Oh wait, no, I wanted to take damage. Um... What you gotta do... is get all of the achievements and then you beat the nightmare. Um... Someone on the... Congregate comments mention that. I love Congregate's comments over the reviews on Newgrounds, in part because Newgrounds reviews, even though they're allowed to be longer, they're very often very crap. Um, and in addition, the Congregate stuff will often point out um, either problematic levels, ways to get around problematic levels, or just general good tips. It can be they can be very useful. While the Newgrounds reviews, in theory, can be a better actual review, but they're almost never very useful to the player. I guess that's a double-edged sword, but considering the average quality of a Newgrounds review, it's not that it's not that terrible to not read them. 
Like if you've seen, uh, what was it called? I think it's just called dot dot dot. It's like a spoken word version of a Newgrounds review. <laughs> it's it's freaking hilarious. I wish I could be that dramatic when I use my dramatic voice. I'm just gonna try and do a flawless run. I guess maybe I should restart over, but I'm just gonna run until I bump into something. Then I'm just gonna keep restarting until I get that, because that's apparently all I need to do to get the last achievement. And that will be Beat the Nightmare after I get that one. I said it already, like twice, but this music's still freaking awesome. It's very perfect for the mood, too. Ah! Inception. I don't know what that was. Was that the one that takes so long to run? It runs for so long, or... Yes! The nightmare is over! Peaceful dreams. We win! Yay! He's all happy. Well, she's all asleep. Well, that was Fearless. Escape the Nightmare. Very fun little game. Give it a try on Congregate. Oh, right, I forgot the. Let's show the credits here. Greg Lane did the code, gameplay, and design. Anna Oliver did the artwork, animation, and concept. All six of those things were very good. Music, Tony McCoy, Bracket Zero, or no. The song's title was called Left Bracket O, Left Angle Bracket, Right Angle Bracket O, Right Bracket. Greg L, I Still Have Hope. Not sure which one. I assume this is I Still Have Hope, because it's less, like, it's less this this. But yeah, that was fun. Now to wait for my head to stop melting my eyes. <laughs>